fourth installment of our ongoing documentary following the building of the Pier 1 data centre in Toronto, Canada, continues with a look at how construction on this state-of-the-art facility progresses well into the winter. As you can tell, a lot of progress has been made since the last time we visited the site. What used to be an empty shell is well on its way to becoming a fully functional data center. What you're looking at right now will be pod A, roughly 5,000 square feet, and will house over 250 racks. There will be three foot raised floors and no crack units or infrastructure of any kind in this area, except for cabinets and cabling. openings are the return ducts for the air conditioners. The lower one you see is where the boardroom is going to be so that when you're in the room you'll be able to overlook the entire data center. The water supply into the building has been slightly altered. It's 8 inches and it'll give them plenty of pressure for their makeup water and sprinkler systems. staging area for the current build and down the road it will become the next pod, another 5,000 square foot chunk of white floor space. Sales will eventually dictate when the builds start and most people hope sooner rather than later. These are the 14 inch supply and return lines that are going to hook out to the chiller plant. There's going to be a loop around the entire building and will branch off into the mechanical aisles for the crack unit supply and returns. Here we have the Liebert 181 pretty much the Cadillac of air conditioning units. They're about as big as you can get. Right here is the 4-inch conduit for the duct bank back to the transformers. So what you have here is going outside to the transformers. This trench will go out to Toronto Hydro's feed. So with the duct bank starting inside, it then swings out and stubs up to all of the transformer pads. room for the well. The foundation is in place to drop the structure on top and there will be redundant pumps inside. All of this is for the mechanical makeup water. As you can see from our first visit back in the summer compared to now, a lot has happened at Pier 1's newest data center build site. Be sure to stay tuned to War TV to see the completion of the facility over the next coming months.